Hey, good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the beloved of Christ. We are beloved, holy, and elect. It says, therefore, we should put on this holy bowels of mercy as the elect of God in Christ Jesus, as sons and heirs of God. I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters, we should take the same mind as Christ Jesus, not thinking it robbery to be, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, but took on the form of a servant. You know, I just want to encourage people this morning that God is so good. He's so wonderful. What a blessed God we serve and what a wonderful gift that is whew, so amazing. All this, this gift as rights, as a son of God in Christ Jesus, as a daughter of God, as a royal priesthood, as a chosen, as elect. You understand? <laughs> We're called to live holy lives in Christ Jesus. And I want to encourage you that God is working in the midst of this and he is making a way for you to live up to who he's called you to live in. The calling that he's called you into, the holy calling that he's called you to. He's going to get you there, brothers and sisters. I'm talking to those who are after Christ Jesus today. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, I just pray that God continue to touch your heart and bless you and shine his face upon you and that he leads you down the path of life in Christ. Jesus said, those who do the God, the Father's will are my brothers and sisters. You know, he, 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 he thinks it not, he don't, he don't think it a shame to call his brothers and sisters before God for us so that we can be accepted as sons and daughters. And it's such a wonderful gift that we have that God has sent us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And I just want to encourage people today to step into that. What worthy of the calling wherewith he has called you. Sometimes you're going to have to let go in your life. A lot many things God will show you, but as you let them go, you're going to, it's going to set you free from so much. And, you know, he sends us from glory to glory. It's such a blessing, my brothers and sisters. And I just pray that he continue to bless you and just keep you in every single way, you know, no matter what. Dear Lord, we thank you for another day. I pray for my brothers and sisters that are listening. I pray for healing in their lives in every area, Lord God, that they need it physically and spiritually in every single way in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Enlighten their eyes so they may see your truth and, the, and, and, and know your truth so the truth can set them free and so they can know you, God. Because you said if the truth ain't in us, then we lie and we don't know God. We pray that the truth be in us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God this morning. Confess your sins before the Father and he will forgive you. Turn from them. I don't want to do them no more, Lord God. Help me. Deliver me and he will set you free. Keep asking, keep trying, keep praying. God's going to set you free. God bless you. Jesus is the way.